So I've tried to record a few different intros for this particular video and to be perfectly honest, nothing sounds right. So I'm just going to speak to you. Um, it's not a video that I was hoping to be making today, to be perfectly honest, but it would appear that a body has been found in the river wire. So I'm going to bring you up to speed with the latest developments concerning that and also take a look at the area which is currently cordoned off by the police. The headline on this newspaper states the following. Tragic find. Police searching for missing Nicola Bully, 45, find body 23 days after mum of two vanished while walking dog. Nicola, 45, was last seen in St Michael's on Wire, Lancashire at around 9.15am on January the 27th. Her disappearance sparked a mystery after her mobile was found on a bench still connected to a work conference call. Nicola's Springer Spaniel Willow was also found, but there was no trace still of the mum of two. Police searching for Nicola today confirmed a body had been found less than a mile from where she was last seen. They said no formal identification has been carried out, so are unable to say whether the remains belong to Nicola. The force said in a statement, quote, We were called today at 11.36am to reports of a body in the River Wire close to Rawcliffe Road. An underwater search team and specialist officers have subsequently attended the scene, entered the water and have sadly recovered a body. No formal identification has yet been carried out, so we are unable to say whether this is Nicola Bully at this time. Procedures to identify the body are ongoing. We are currently treating the death as unexplained. I just want to say that I think when you create these videos, um, you know, I've never actually dealt with a case with a missing person, someone who may well have been alive or may well have passed away. It's a completely and utterly different situation for myself. Um, and having covered this case, I think you always grasp that little bit of hope that that individual is safe and well somewhere, that they've just taken themselves away. So, it, yeah, to hear this news is um, it's a little bit of a shock, to be honest, it, it, even though this was a distinct possibility that this was going to take place. The further that the time went out and we got over a week, two weeks, three weeks, now into the fourth week, you just hold on to that hope that she didn't go into the river at some point and that she would be safe and well and be returned to her family at some stage. But that appears, <sighs> that little bit of hope um, appears to have gone now, sadly. So I think what people are going to be talking about in this case um, over the next coming days, particularly, you know, in terms of speculation, you know, how didn't they find the body? It wasn't that far away. But as I touched upon yesterday, when I really took a look at, you know, the scene itself, the bench, the harness, the fact that the dog was dry. I'm still very much of the belief that Nicola did leave the area and she didn't enter the water by the bench. That's my own personal opinion. Um, I said yesterday and the day before, this area where she was discovered needs to be searched extensively because all Nicola would have had to have done is exit that towpath, cross uh, Blackpool Lane, straight across the, the um, gate in front of her, and continue on the river path further downstream and it would appear that that is where her body has sadly been found obviously at this point in time no formal identification has taken place but um, I think we can all assume at this point in time uh, that it's most likely Nicola Bully's body which has been recovered. Now over the past 48 hours or so I had noticed online quite an increase in locals, people who are local to the area discussing a heightened police presence in terms of helicopters and police on the ground around the river wire area. And interestingly, when you take a look at the river level, it does seem to have spiked yesterday on the 18th. And I wonder if that is a factor in this body now being discovered. And finally, before we conclude this video, thoughts and prayers naturally at this time must be with the family and friends of Nicola Bully. And I'd like to give a personal thanks to members of that local community, some of whom actually watched my videos and said that they were going out to check certain areas and searched for Nicola Bully. A personal thanks must go out to those individuals who searched for Nicola Bully. I think all of us in our heart just really hope that this would have a different outcome. But now with this news, which has just been released, Hopefully there can be some closure for the friends and family and Nicola Bully is in peace. Take care.